Sir Godfrey Newbold Hounsfield, CBE, FRS, the 28th of August 1919 to the 12th of August 2004, was an English electrical engineer who shared the 1979 Nobel Prize for Physiology or Medicine with Alan MacLeod Cormack for his part in developing the diagnostic technique of X-ray computed tomography (CT). His name is immortalized in the Hounsfield scale, a quantitative measure of radio density used in evaluating CT scans. The scale is defined in Hounsfield units symbol Hu, running from air at minus 1000 Hu, through water at 0 Hu, and up to dense cortical bone at plus 1000 Hu and more. Biography Childhood and education Hounsfield was born in Sutton-on-Trent, near Newark-on-Trent, Nottinghamshire, England on 28 August 1919. He was the youngest of five children, two brothers, two sisters. His father, Thomas Hounsfield was a farmer from Byton, and was linked to the prominent Hounsfield and Newbold families of Hackenthorpe Hall, his mother was Blanche Dilkick. As a child he was fascinated by the electrical gadgets and machinery found all over his parents' farm. Between the ages of 11 and 18, he tinkered with his own electrical recording machines, launched himself off haystacks with his own homemade glider, and almost killed himself by using water-filled tar barrels and acetylene to see how high they could be water jet propelled. He attended the Magnus Grammar School, now Magnus Church of England School in Newark-on-Trent and excelled in physics and arithmetic. Topic: <laughs> Wartime Shortly before World War II, he joined the Royal Air Force as a volunteer reservist where he learned the basics of electronics and radar. After the war, he attended Faraday House Electrical Engineering College in London, graduating with the DFH Diploma of Faraday House. Faraday House was a specialist electrical engineering college that provided university-level education and was established in 1890, before the advent of most university engineering departments. Faraday House pioneered the use of sandwich courses, combining practical experience with theoretical study. The suggestion that Hounsfield lacked formal engineering education to the level of a chartered engineer does not reflect the nature of engineering education at the time when Hounsfield was a student, or the esteem in which Faraday House was held within the profession. Emmy and later years In 1949, Hounsfield began work at EMI, Limited in Hayes, Middlesex, where he researched guided weapon systems and radar. Hounsfield incorrectly gave this date as 1951 when he wrote his autobiography which is available on the Nobel Prize website. The correct date is 10 October 1949 as stated in a biography of Hounsfield. At EMI, he became interested in computers and in 1958, he helped design the first commercially available all-transistor computer made in Great Britain, the EMIDEC 1100. Shortly afterwards, he began work on the CT scanner at EMI. He continued to improve CT scanning, introducing a whole body scanner in 1975, and was senior researcher and after his retirement in 1984, consultant to the laboratories. Topic. Invention of the CT scanner While on an outing in the country, Hounsfield came up with the idea that one could determine what was inside a box by taking X-ray readings at all angles around the object. He then set to work constructing a computer that could take input from X-rays at various angles to create an image of the object in slices. Applying this idea to the medical field led him to propose what is now known as computed tomography. At the time, Hounsfield was not aware of the work that Cormac had done on the theoretical mathematics for such a device. Hounsfield built a prototype head scanner and tested it first on a preserved human brain, then on a fresh cow brain from a butcher shop, and later on himself. On 1 October 1971, CT scanning was introduced into medical practice with a successful scan on a cerebral cyst patient at Atkinson Morley Hospital in Wimbledon, London, United Kingdom. In 1975, Hounsfield built a whole body scanner. Topic: <inaudible> Awards and Honors. In 1979, Hounsfield and Cormack received the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine. Hounsfield received numerous awards in addition to the Nobel Prize. 
He was appointed Commander of the Order of the British Empire in 1976 and knighted in 1981. Hounsfield was elected a Fellow of the Royal Society in 1975. In 1974, he received the Wilhelm Exner Medal. He was awarded the Howard N. Potts Medal in 1977. Personal life He never married, and died at Kingston-upon-Thames in 2004. References, <references>